guys, Avid Sniper here bringing you another Player Unknown's Battlegrounds video. Today I am playing a solo match and I'm going to go through this match. I've edited out some of the boring parts where it's just driving or running and kept it mostly down to the gunfights. And I'm going to tell you guys exactly what's going through my head as best I can uh, in each gunfight. So I'm going to visualize what I'm thinking and say it as the game plays out. I'm not good at talking while I'm actually playing, so I'm doing this after the fact. And it probably is going to be a little more accurate because <laughs> when I'm playing, I'd probably just be like, oh shit, oh shit, he moved over, oh crap. So I hear this guy coming up on a motorcycle pretty much out in the middle of nowhere, so I just decide to take some shots at him. And sure enough, he decides he wants a fight. So he stops right over there. I see him jump off. I try to shoot him, but he runs inside. I get some cover because I'm immediately thinking he's just going to, you know, counter fire. He did. He got a nice little hit on me, but nothing too serious. He's not popping back out. So, of course, the, the first thing on my mind here is that I'm wounded, so I need to get an energy drink going on. Plus, we're probably going to be getting in a little gunfight here. I don't hear him rushing me right now, so this might be drawn out for a little while. And, oh my god, I hate long, drawn-out gunfights between just two guys, you know? But sometimes it happens. Sometimes it happens. So, here's the scenario. This guy's right over here by that building. He stopped his bike there, and uh, I'm over here by this wall. If he runs out, he's at a disadvantage. If I run out, I'm at a disadvantage. So I'm just like, let me toss some grenades. <laughs> he runs out, puts his bike up. I take some shots at him, but I gotta be careful because I only have 30 rounds for my AK and now I'm down to 17. And I don't wanna get in a close range gunfight with this mini 14. So I'm gonna preserve those 17 rounds of AK ammo because those are probably gonna be what I'm gonna have to use to full auto this guy once he gets close enough or once he comes out of his cover. So he chucked a grenade at me, no big deal. He didn't cook it, you know. I, I took some cover, avoided it pretty easy. I don't want him to run away from this gunfight. He's the one that stopped here. I did take some shots at him, but he stopped here, acted like he wanted to be aggressive, and now he's just hiding behind the wall. So I'm like, you know what? I am gonna shoot the tire out on this guy's bike. Make sure that he can't leave even if he wants to. And that's so cool how, how it blows the bike up in the air now. I was surprised. I was like, whoa, that was pretty sweet. I actually got killed jumping a bike the other day. Somebody shot the back tire out while I was in the middle of a jump, and it made the bike do a front flip, and it just killed me. It just threw me. I was like, holy crap. So I'm just harassing this guy. I'm like, come on, bro. Come come out across the street. What, what are you doing back there? I'm all out of grenades. I'm all out of throwables. And... Uh, I'm honestly starting to think this guy, he's just going to be one of those guys that sits here. He's not going to push. So I'm going to change my position up a little bit. I don't want to be the guy that runs out and gets killed because I lost patience first. You know, this is a little bit of a camper fest. I'm not liking it very much. So I switched my position up, see, thinking maybe the guy did the same thing. Maybe he's moving. So I'm going to, you know, kind of run around this area and just listen for a little bit and uh, just see if I hear anything. I don't end up really hearing anything. So I'm thinking the guy's probably still over there. And then he pops smoke, all right? So I see the smoke over there, and I'm thinking, now I can use this smoke to get across the road. He just blinded himself. He's probably trying to move and do a flank, so if I can get as far away from where he knew I was at, that's probably the best bet. Well, surprise, surprise, as I'm running across the street, he pops me right in the head. Oh, so glad he didn't land that second shot, because that shot, right to the upper back of my neck, uh, wrecked my level two helmet and wrecked most of my health. But fortunately, Fortunately, I had a first aid kit I was able to get off. So now I know this guy's still over there. So I'm like, let me switch my position over here, see what happens. And all of a sudden, I hear this guy. I'm like, okay, okay, he's close. So I always try to keep to the left of the buildings for the third person peak advantage when I'm playing third person. So this guy has put himself at a disadvantage being on the wrong side of the building. He finally loses patience, just decides to jump the wall and try to attack me, and gets totally blown away. I had to give him the little you're done emote right here because I felt like he took up a lot of my time <laughs> in the beginning of the game for just one gunfight. I honestly cannot stand gunfights like that, and 9 times out of 10, I'm the guy that loses patience and just is like, fuck this, I'm running at this guy, and ends up getting my head blown off. So... Sometimes it's just a game of who can wait the longest for the other guy to lose patience and be like, fuck this, I'm running out and getting killed. <laughs> so this time it was not me. So I saw a guy right here. Um, he knows I pulled up, but I don't think he knows um, 
where I am exactly. So he runs over here and I just decide I'm going to chase this guy, see what he's doing. Play it a little cautiously, but I'm still going to try and move towards this guy. I see him standing on the edge of the wall. He obviously doesn't know where I am. So I jump up and try to finish him with the mini 14, but he moves. I hit him a couple times in the arm, but he definitely moves right before I can uh, finish him off. And he doesn't go into building or take cover. Pretty sure that guy was a newbie at the game. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Just easy kill. Easy kill right there. If I were him, I probably would have gone inside the building because I would have expected a flank. If I, if I hit a guy a couple times and there's enough cover where I can just run up and finish him off, I'm going to do that. You know, that's, that's exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to do that. Well, now I'm in kind of a, a laid back mood. I had originally signed on just to test some new hardware and some new settings that I put on my computer and just some uh, recording settings. And I'm like, you know what? There's only 32 people left. I have, um, I have a couple kills here. So I'm going to play this out and see what happens, you know, because because I had just signed on to, to drive a car around. Honestly, I just signed on to drive a car around and uh, get some recording tests and quality tests and stuff like that uh, for YouTube. So... I find the guy's car. He tried to hide it in a bush. Like, that's that's not a good hiding job. <laughs> but it gives me perfect cover. So I'm thinking, if this guy goes to the trouble, maybe he parked it here by accident, but probably didn't. Probably parked it in the bush for a reason. If this, if this guy parked his car in a bush for a reason, I'm going to wait him out. I don't know where he is, but I did hear some gunshots very close. And he literally just pulled up like a minute ago. He's probably going to want to come back to his car. Uh, the blue's coming in. It's going to change. He's going to want a vehicle. There he is, right by the rock. So I'm thinking to myself, he probably doesn't see me, but I do need to kind of, just in case he does see me, I might need to get some cover behind this car now that I know where he is. So I, I drop behind the car. Fairly certain the guy hasn't seen me. I really had to hold myself back from pulling the trigger here. I was just kind of following him, seeing where he was going, hoping he would stop so I can get that two-tap headshot with the Mini 14. But he didn't stop. He just keeps going behind rocks and stuff. And he keeps moving uh, from right to left. And I um, almost, almost feel like he sees me. But then I got, I got to think the way he's acting, I don't think he does see me because he's not really making an attempt to get closer. But I notice he is circling his car. So in the back of my mind, I think he's going to come back. He probably jumped out to snipe. He's probably got a sniper rifle. That's what I did here, shooting some kind of sniper rifle. He's probably just looking for some to get some long-distance kills here. When he realizes there's nobody else out here, he'll probably run back to his car. And then I see him much closer, and I'm thinking, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. He might have seen me. He might have seen me. And this is that critical moment where you have to decide for yourself. Did, they, did the enemy see you or not? Should you stay here or should you blow your cover and run? Because if he didn't see you, running out from behind his car would probably be suicide. So I decide I'm going to go with the nerves of steel option. He doesn't see me. It really feels like he does because he's really investigating his car right now. Like, like he's spooked. He's like, oh man, something's happening on my car. I don't feel good about this. But he hasn't thrown any grenades. He hasn't done anything. So I'm still going with, he probably doesn't see me. He's probably just like an overly cautious player. Um, so I'm just going to wait it out. And uh, when he comes back to his car, I'm just going to end him. Maybe when he gets in his car, I can give him a nice pan to the back of the dome. But, you know, I'm, I'm not patient enough for that, for sure. So here he is. Obviously doesn't know I'm here. He's just doing a little crouch walk. Gets completely lit up with AK. Uh, decide to get some loot and find out that uh, he has a good old M24 sniper rifle that I decide to relieve him of. See? There it is. I edited out all the boring looting parts. So now it's time to go. Not in the safe zone. Got to get there. Pretty far away. Decided the best thing to do was to uh, take a car. Man, I love these Murados. They're so nice and fast. So I decided to hold up here. Um, these are some buildings. Didn't seem like anybody was here. As soon as I get here, though, I see a car pulling up. And I'm thinking he's probably coming here. I don't know why, but he just stops right here at the wall. Probably wasn't expecting anybody to be on this side of the wall. And just gets destroyed with the AK. That AK is such a beast if you land those shots, man. Sometimes it feels like it's not even hitting. But it is, man. It is hitting. And it is hitting hard. The AK is probably my favorite um, full auto assault rifle right now. It's definitely my favorite full auto assault rifle. So right after I kill this guy, uh, another guy in the truck drives up and he just immediately goes right into that building. Much smarter move than what the other guy did. Whenever I pull up to a complex and I'm not sure if there's people there or not, I try to make it a point to pull straight up to a building right by the door and just go right in because that's going to be my best bet for not getting shot in the side of the face or from a window or from somebody camping. If I, if I get out in the open and don't go inside immediately, it's almost a death sentence. So somebody was sniping at me from far away. I get up here. 
this guy's still over here, so I decide I'm just gonna wait him out, you know, see what happens. After after about a minute, uh, this guy crawls out onto onto the roof. He obviously does not know I'm here. He's aiming in this direction, but I can tell he's aiming more long distance instead of right at me. So I just line him up, stand up, and give him a nice little one tap to the head with the M24. Such a good feeling to get those one shot kill sniper kills, even if it's on a dude that's not moving and has no idea you're there. <laughs> Now I decide I'm just going to start shooting at everything. I have an M24 sniper rifle, 4 times scope, anything that moves, I'm going to shoot. There's a guy moving. Let me take a shot at him. Okay, he's still moving. Now I can't see him. There's something else up there. Looks kind of like a guy. Might be a motorcycle. Fuck it. I'm going to shoot the motorcycle anyway. Okay, it's definitely a motorcycle. Might be a guy though. I, I should probably keep shooting at it. <laughs> definitely a guy. <laughs> That one was a headshot. Um, and that's literally what's going through my mind right there. I'm just like, I'm just taking shots. Now I hear somebody over here. It seems pretty close. I, I heard those suppressed shots and I'm like, ah, there he is right behind that rock. Now, if you look at the safe zone, this guy's got to move and he's got to move fast. This blue is going to be coming in in three seconds. So he does move. He takes a hit with the M24. It's a pretty low hit. Um, I wanted to go for a upper body hit, but the way he's moving up and down really screwed my aim up. I'm fairly certain I got two hits on him right there. He's still alive. Now I'm getting pissed. I'm like, one more shot before he disappears, and I get him. Right before he disappears, I take him out. I'm like, oh, thank you. That guy would have been a pain in my ass if I had to deal with him trying to run up from behind me. Now we're down to five people left. Oh man, it's getting crazy. I see a guy up here and I'm thinking to myself, I don't want to sit perfectly still, so I'm going to keep kind of jiggling back and forth until he stops moving and then I'm just going to put it right in his dome. So he stopped moving. He looked like he was, he heard of somebody shooting and it looked like he was stopping to investigate that and that was his mistake. So I try my best um, to always keep moving back and forth, up and down, left and right, you know, just... Uh, so my head's not in the same place. If you sit still, there could be somebody looking at you that you don't know is there, shoot you right in the face. Now there's only two people left other than me. I see a guy running out here. I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to shoot at this guy. I'm going to shoot at him. I'm going to let him know. I know where you are, buddy, and I'm not afraid to shoot at you. Sometimes that's actually a good thing to do because in the final circle, people are real nervous. There's the other guy. I'm like, I'm going to shoot at you too, bro. I don't care if I'm in between both of you. I'm going to let you guys know I'm not fucking around here. So these guys took a couple shots back, but they were pretty much pretty passive. This guy runs out, takes a nice hit right in the side by the uh, M24 sniper rifle. He survives it though. Now this other guy I'm kind of worried about because now I'm having to move, but I think the best thing right now is to be moving and not standing still. So I'm going to go head this enemy off right at the edge of the blue that I wounded. He's wounded. Even if he had time to do a first aid kit, he's still hurt. His vest is probably half gone and he has to come here. There he is. Just go out with, you know... No fear, because I know the guy's wounded, and uh, just spray him down with the AK. Now there's only one guy left, and I have a pretty good idea of where he's at, uh, based on everything that was happening, and based on the fact that I saw him earlier. So I decided to just start chucking some grenades, and then I see him right on the left side of that tree in front of me. I try to act like I don't see him to get him to pop out, but I think he noticed, so I decide to try and fake him out by throwing another grenade away from where he is to make him think that I don't know where he is. After I throw that grenade, I want to see if he pop and he does pop his head out, and then he tries to throw a Molotov at me and gets shot right in the face for the final kill. The juke worked. He probably didn't know I saw exactly where he was. He came out, got his head blown off.